What is up? Welcome to the Iron Age Warlord. Episode 5, starting of the new year. It is 1-8-2024, Earth date. Space. Final Frontier. This will be a very Star Trek-centric episode. I should be wearing my Michigan Wolverines hat. They're playing today. They're going to be taking on, um, uh, I think, someone. I don't know. They're, they're taking on a team in the top line of the football side. Um, Central Michigan is doing hockey in Illinois, doing the teddy bear toss thing. Weird little crazy today. I just got back from taking Loki for his hike. Had an accident in the house. I had to clean up, so that was fun. Yay, right in the morning. We were just outside, and he did in the house. Like, what the? <clears throat> All right, but this is the Iron Age Warlord, Episode 5. This is your host, DJ Death 93 I also do Cyberpunk Radio, hosted by DJ Death 93 which you can hear on iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and YouTube. It's there, too. Um, right now, I've got some goth music playing in the background, just a variety mix. If you're wondering what I'm listening to, kind of got back into some, some like new goth, I guess. I've been checking that out. Okay, t-shirts, Christmas thing. Alright, and we're still going to be on Star Trek VOD. I'm going to show you this real quick. It's a, uh, oh, hang on, uh-oh. It's a uh, mug where they disappear and reappear on the other side. It's washed and put away, but I can't run it through the dishwasher. So yeah, that's a Star Trek coffee cup that, where they appear on one side, they transport and they appear, you know, landing party on the other side. Check. Alright, the other thing I'm going to show you today, before I get into anything else, this is not plugged in at the moment, but hang on. Uh, might be able to plug it in. Yeah, check this out. It's the Enterprise, right? Okay. So one is the Enterprise. It's a 3D thing. It's pretty cool. And one is the. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Hang on. Let's change the camera angle real quick. That's the Death Star. There you go, that's that. Something else I got. So there you go, you can actually see it a little bit better now. We'll work better, it's a 3D Star Trek. It's got the Enterprise and it's got the Death Star. I am a Star Wars and a Star Trek fan, I'm a total nerd. So we'll get into more nerd stuff in a little bit. So that's the Star Trek stuff going on. Coffee cup, 3D Death Star, it's cool. All right, now, I'm gonna be talking about some books. Speaking of books, I picked up the Great Gatsby and David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. So I got three Charles Dickens books now. But one of the things I did get my hands on, if you can see this, is the Vinland Saga Volume 2, which I had finished reading right before the new year. So just got this bad boy in, finished reading it, loved it. It was great. So I've read Volume 1 and Volume 2. My next, obviously, will be to get Volume 3 on that. And speaking of other awesome books... You've heard me mention this title before, Akira. This is Volume 2. I've got Volume 1. I just started reading it about halfway through. I'm going to finish that up and then get on to this bad boy. So there you go. That's that. That's that. The other two novels I got. And went to the record store. Bought some stuff that's going to be playing on the vault. That's uh, Special Forces by Alice Cooper. It's one of my favorite albums. So I've got Pretties for You, Special Forces, Flush the Fashion 80, all on vinyl. I've got every single one of them on CD or cassette or some other way. And the other thing I got, much older album, well, they're both older albums, is Killer on vinyl. So I picked up both of those over the yeah, start of the new year. So there you go. Got some vinyl in the mix. Got some new books. Got some Star Trek stuff, 3D thing. T-shirt I'm rocking right now, Space Vinyl Frontier. I'm only rocking this for this episode, and then I'm going to switch it up because... Yeah, I like the shirt, but I'm wearing a little too long. So, got to change it up. Okay, a couple things to talk about. All right, that's what's going on there. That's my show and tell. I also picked up some DVDs. I picked up the Transformers prequel motion comic book to the uh, Michael Bay movies. Only about maybe 15, 20 minutes. It's a motion comic book, but didn't realize it was going to be that. I thought it was going to be like a, something completely different. Then I picked up um, the Incredible Hulk highlight episode for the TV series, which has a bonus episode, Married on it, which is on the side, other side of the foot disc, so look for physical media at your th local thrift stores, bookstores, vinyl, cassette. You can even find, you know, the anime books, too. That's where I found the Vendland Saga first, was at a thrift shop. That's where I encountered it. You know, just happened to be in a book, man. I'm like, holy mofo. So I grabbed it, you know, two bucks. Good deal. Alright, um, and then I picked up Star, two of the Star Wars prequels, I picked up Star Wars 1 and Star Wars 3. They didn't have two. 
Um, I passed up on the, um, oh, what's that called? Oh, Smallville Season 2, because I didn't have Season 1, so I didn't feel like grabbing Season 2 just to make sense to me. I should have, though, but oh well. If, it, if it's still there, I'll grab it, but it wasn't there right now. Right now, I'm listening to the Plastic Ivy Never Caught in Amber. There you go. This is going to be a short video. I'm going to try and keep it at 10 minutes. Got a little bit of nonsense i got to talk about on the political spectrum. Apparently, at the day before or after January 6th, a bunch of politicians, George Soros, all got swatted. And in my area, a politician got swatted because he threatened to take Joe Biden off the ballot for some reason. Stupid decision. If any state that takes a, a presidential candidate off a ballot means your state doesn't get to vote, means we don't count. So if you take a candidate off the ballot, whether it be Donald Trump or Joe Biden or any other, you are actually screwing the people over. That because they don't get an option to vote. You take a candidate, any candidate, off a ballot, you lose your voice. Two states have already done that with Donald Trump, and St. Louis is trying to do it with Biden. I ain't cool with that. This goes into my next topic: the bomb threats that came to a bunch of Capitol buildings, mainly Democratic cities, which I thought was odd, but not Republican. But it was most Republicans mainly got swatted. George Soros got swatted. So Republican politicians, George Soros, who's a leftist. God to these freaks, or a woke leftist God, or however you want to look at them, and then a bunch of Democratic Capitol buildings. See, <coughs> excuse me, what's going on here is these weird wokey leftists are trying to stir the pot. They are trying to make something that isn't real, real. To the point, there's even groups that are calling out, like, you know, don't listen to these people, ignore them. All right, but that's that. Don't swap people. Don't call them bomb threats. It's not cool. It's a federal offense, and you will... I am not an attorney, by the way, just saying. It's a federal offense, and you go to federal prison. You will never see the light of day again. Don't do that. It's common sense. It's don't do that. Okay, what else? That's that covered. That's much I'm going to cover on politics. I don't like politicians. I don't like politics. No, thank you. I don't like pop culture. Um, but, speaking of pop culture... I just sat through most of the Flash movie. Oh, that was tough to get through. I didn't finish watching it yet. I tried to sit through the new Batman movie with um, the kid from Twilight. That was not good. And then I sat through, uh, what was it? Uh, something else. Oh, the second Shazam movie, which I actually liked. It was fun. It was kind of cheesy. Um, did anyone watch the Oscars? I can answer the question for you. No. No, they did not. Why? Because no one cares. I don't even care who won Best Picture, who won Best Actor, who was blah, blah, blah. None of it matters to me. I don't even know who the host was. I guess he's a comedian. But I don't even know who he was. He was a stand-up. But they always get a stand-up guy to do the job. Yeah, but I don't know who he is. Joe Coe, I think that was his name. I may have gotten that wrong. I have no idea, and I don't care. I don't know who he is, and the Oscars don't matter to me. The Oscars, the Grammys, the Golden Globes, no one... In the real world pays attention to this stuff. Since cable kind of became a dead thing, those things are just not interesting. And if you don't have CBS, you're probably not paying attention. Now, I have Paramount, so it's there, but I'm not going to watch it. I don't know what, you know what I watched while the Golden Girls was going on? Murder, She Wrote. On Freebie, because it was free. All night long. And then I put some music up. Speaking of music, I'm about to get to that section. Um, put up the sick, volume 130 through 140. That's all up right now. And then I put up uh, two episodes of Classics, which are the old-time radio shows with Superman. Now, there's two episodes missing. There's a reason they're missing. Now, you can hear them on iHeartRadio, and you can hear them on uh, Cyberpunk Radio, hosted by DJ Death 93 on Spreaker, because they're 21 Jump Street episodes, and I don't want to get hit with a copyright fee. So, you know, I was like, I already got hit one for the Christmas Carol thing. I'm still mad about Like, wait a minute, what? And that's a whole nother debacle. I'm not going to really get into that. So, all right, what else, what else? Oh, that's the music front. Um, did get a comment I didn't quite understand. Someone said uh, that cover is sus as F, and I'm like, what the heck does sus mean? I had, I've never seen that before, and I'm older, so you know I have a brain, and you know look how to spell words completely. So I don't use words in the abbreviation aspect because only a moron does that. And of course, this person also referred to themselves as Finn. They were male, and they called themselves Finn. So I'm a little confused why they think they're. Are you a boy? Are you girl? What, what, what are you going for? I'm I'm a little lost. Uh, and it was a cartoon thing, cyberpunk thing I found amazing. Is it kind of faceless? Yeah. 
Probably. I don't really care. I mean, it was a cover I chose at the time, because it caught my attention. I typed in Cyberpunk, it popped up. Boom, there. Made the cover. I think it's from Deviant Art. Whatever. That's that's how it is. All right, I'm hitting my 10 minute mark. It's episode five, Iron Age, Warlord coming at you. You know I'm talking really fast. And da 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 da. This will be uploaded shortly on YouTube, on the Dark Arrow Records DJ Death 93 channel. You can go check out SyntheticScum.Bandcamp.com to get free music, buy some music, whatever. Go there. You can get the Burning Chrome EP, the Burning Chrome Remix album. Um, I'm going to be working on the acoustic album this week, so it's the only show I'm doing for this week. And I might do one more because we'll be on our new set after today. I will be getting the Ready Room ready, hence the Star Trek reference. That's why I'm doing a lot of Star Trek reference stuff today. The Ready Room will be ready. So we'll be down in the Green Dragon starting next episode. Um, that may be today. That may be tomorrow. That may be at the end of the week. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to keep this under 10. Um, I'd also like to say thank you to our... 28, yeah, I think it's 28, 28 subscribers we've gotten, so we're almost at our 30 mark, so once we get to our 30 mark, we're going to be going for 35, so if you hit the, you know, make sure you hit the notification, the like, share the video, do whatever, um, I'm on Rumble, Odyssey, and Locals, you can go check me out there if you want, I don't, didn't post the last show there, I'll post both of them there when I get to it, this, so that might come a little bit later, but be here first, um, this is pre-recorded by the way, Music playing in the background, I don't even know who the band is, it's just playing in the background. Um, I will probably be recording The Volt. That will probably be showing up on YouTube. Um, because of Alice Cooper, I probably won't be putting that on YouTube, because, yeah, copyright. Eh. I got to debate on what, you know, where it's going to fall under, so, because of the albums being older and being, you know, with his, you know, Warners, etc., um, so I am going to probably record them for the radio show. What I'm going to do is I'm going to talk before I put them on the radio show. And I'll introduce, you know, say what songs are, you know, what side we're on, what episode we're on, which will be episode 3 and 2. Sorry, 3 and 4, 5 and 6, 7 and 8, 9 and 10. So the next couple episodes of The Volt are all going to be Alice Cooper, um, Pretty for You, Special Forces, Killer, and Flush of Fashion 80 will be coming to you. Played him on the bolt. I played Flash the Fashion on the bolt before. Much earlier thing. So there you go. Alright, so this is DJ Death93. You know where to look up my music. You know where to look me up on YouTube. It's Dark Arrow Records, DJ Death93 YouTube channel. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you to my subscribers, to the 28 of you that are here. For those of you who haven't subscribed yet, please do, because I can't get paid until you start subscribing. So good on you. Alright, have a good day. Be a good human being. Remember, don't hurt nobody. Don't threaten people. Don't be mean. Don't be a jerk. Just be nice. Even if you don't understand their worldview, still be nice. Be a nice human being. Oh, I have one other thing I have to talk about before I let you go. It snowed in front of my on my street and the road was a little crappy. And we got home on Friday and you know got off the road because the snow had hit. We went out to eat, grabbed a bite, came home. Snow hit. And about 11:30, 12 o'clock, I was I think just listening to some videos on YouTube. I heard a smash off in front of my house, and there was a van and a big, giant thing truck smashed into my fence, destroyed one fence, ripped it out completely, smashed into another one, because I got ran off the road, someone was driving out in the middle of the road and ran him into my yard. And I've got kind of a, like a decorative fence in my front yard. So, uh, he was supposed to come by yesterday. I texted him. He's looking for the stuff, and then he'll be, let me know when he's going to be coming by. So, we'll see what happens. I don't know. Is didn't call the insurance company, didn't call the cops to report an accident, so who knows. So if this isn't, and apparently my gal Friday decided to offer to pitch in, which I wouldn't have done. Just not that way inclined. But that's me. Me and her are a very different attitude on that. Oh, and one other thing. You'll see a lot of videos about people talking about how to, you know, buy all this stuff to do a really cute budget. Don't fall for that. Don't buy that crap. They're not telling you how to do a budget, and everything they're doing is unrealistic. So just ignore those people. I mean, if you want to watch the video, it's fine, but just know that... They're setting unrealistic standards for average people. Just gotta say that's a bunch of things on my brain right now. Okay, so I'm DJ Death93. Boldly go wherever you can. Be nice to people. Don't be mean. Um, still working on the destroy the infected mind virus album. Got a couple. Got about four different things recorded for it. Frogger is next up on the recording session for that. Um, but I'm hoping to get the Burning Chrome acoustic album done this week so I probably won't be doing this probably till Friday 
I'll come back. I'll have more stuff to chit chat and talk about. So, have a good day. Enjoy. I hope you had a good New Year, and I hope you had a happy Christmas and all kinds of fun stuff. I'm gonna be putting this up in a few minutes. I just gotta put some stuff away. And yeah, I'm going over my 10 minute mark that I was gonna go for. If I had more subscribers, there'd be a commercial after the 10 minute mark. Be right before it, but this is not modernized yet. I need about a thousand subscribers to do that. So please, tell your friends, come on board to this crazy train we call Synthetic Storm Dark Hour Records at DJ Jet 93. So, go to Spreaker, check out the Alice Cooper albums coming up. It might be tomorrow, it might be today, I haven't decided. And uh, you can hear the 21 Jump Street there. I'm also on iHeartRadio. Synthetic Scum's everywhere. Type it in. It will come up. Make sure you like our videos on YouTube. Listen to them. Steal our music. Go to Man Camp. Get some of our music for free. Um, anything I put up on YouTube recently will be under the free mark. All right. So there you go. All right. Well, I hope you have a good day. So happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Easter. Happy Kwanzaa. I think that's a thing still. I don't know. Um, happy whatever holiday you like to celebrate, Ramadan, etc. Don't assault people's religions, faith, and uh, don't post comments about people's music unless it's about the music. If you're only focusing on album covers, you're missing the point. Album covers are just one aspect. Focus on the music. Obviously, you don't listen to my music, so to Mr. Fem, please don't subscribe to my channel and stay away from decent human beings who appreciate art, you freak. I'm not going to say your full name because I'm not going to give you that credibility. Yeah, if you see the word Fen, avoid it at all costs and the word and a male attached to it, run away. Run away. Purple hair weirdo. Want your children. They make it quite clear. He's sus. Yeah, he was creeped out by a cartoon. Scary. Yeah, in other words, he was creeped out by the idea of a female. An Asian chick playing around on a computer in her bedroom. It's um, 137, I think, or 138. So there you go. Whatever, I don't care. Alright, so yeah. I'm going to finish re reading Akira Volume 1, Storm Volume 2, and then, uh, oh, also got the Shadow and the Spirit comic books crossover with Batman and the Green Hornet. Yes, both characters. We'll talk more about that in another video. Alright, um, I know I didn't give you my list of this, that, or the other today. I just, man, I haven't really thought about those, so. Um, okay. You know what? Since I'm still going. Alright. Our villain for today is the unknown assailant who caused bomb threats and... Swatting on people. That's the villain for the day. Yes, you, my sir, or woman, or confused human being, you are the villain today. Our hero today, you know what, we're going to go with the spirit. Um, music choice, going to go with the Pussycat Dolls. Why not throw, off, stop, throw you completely off? Um, let's see, what else are we going to go for? Oh, reading material, comic book wise, be the spirit. Um, and if you want to look up some folk magazines online, which you can. There's a link in my community section for pulp magazines. Fine, you can read about the spirit there if you want to look that up. Because we're started. Okay. Um, TV. Obviously, I'm going to go with Star Trek, the original series today. Why not? Uh, so we already did Farscape, so why not Star Trek, the original series. Movie today, I'm going to throw you. Because uh, you think I'm probably going to say, like, Star Trek, the motion picture, or Star Wars, the prequel. No, no, no. I'm going to completely go off grid here. And we are going to say seven is the movie pick for the day. There you go. Uh, and book pick. Actual book pick. Okay, actual book pick. Let me think about it. Um, the Shadowrun novel series. That's a lot of different books, but that'll condense it now. But I would say Beyond the Pale is a good start. I want to start with the Shadowrun book. There you go. All right, Beyond the Pale. Shadowrun, Beyond the Pale. All right. Uh, RPG setting for Dungeons and Dragons or any other RPG setting. We are going to go with Kazaa. The Middle Eastern based second edition Kazaa setting for those of you out there that want more of a Aladdin esque type environment, or you live in that environment and that's what you would prefer to play in or not, but it's, it exists, it's there. Um, disregard all the stuff with uh, TSR saying this is racist. It's a bunch of BS. Just be aware of that. All right, I'm going to go. So, oh, we hit Sorry, excuse me. And there he goes. 20 minutes ish. Alright, I'm finally gonna sign off. So, Captain's Log out.